Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to the SOS Small Business Success Podcast. I'm glad to be here with you each and every week because I got to tell you, this release of energy of sharing frustrations, sharing things that are working, sharing things that are not working has probably been my best form of therapy. And uh and nothing is nothing pleases me more than uh, is when I also have a guest on the show to be able to share this therapy session with me and to be able to provide some insight about everything that's going on in our world today. And of course, everything that's going on in our industry today. And I'll even broaden that even more, what's going on with small businesses and how we can be able to support them. So the SOS Small Business Podcast is all about building brands for you to survive and developing you so you can thrive. And I am a firm believer as I share with you guys each and every week that right now we need to grow as individuals because we can't look at our business and say we need to get our business growing because the truth is when everything came to a stop it created kind of a level playing field of what we know and what we don't know and right now the challenge is not about growing our business the challenge is growing us and that can be hard that can be very frustrating but I tell you, I, you know, and, and I know that you all were like super motivated by this when, when the pandemic hit, because we were all on Zoom calls. We were all doing all these things and we were learning and sharing and growing. And then all of a sudden we all got burnt out because for whatever reason we thought, I don't need to learn anymore or I can't be online anymore. Um, but you know, when you're a coach like I am and my guest Maria here that I'll introduce in just a minute, you know, this is a way to be able to transfer the right kind of knowledge to you in, a, in, in the most easeful path. So never look at education, never look at what we're doing online as a deficit to the opportunity for you to be able to learn. So, okay, I'm your host, Bonnie Bonadeo, and I don't think I introduced myself here. Um, and I'm glad, uh, like I said, that I've got a guest today. So, our conversation today is on mindset. Now, you guys know that what I do is I create this whole SOS strategy. And I say that, you know, when, when you have strategic opportunities, it can equal success. So you have to be able to kind of narrow something down to what strategically do I need to spend my time and energy on? And then that creates that opportunity for success for you. We can't be doing it all right now. It's overwhelming. We can't learn it all right now, but there's usually one area that we know that we can take on and really maybe put some energy behind it in order to see some levels of success. The problem I think that we're having in society in general, in our industry and in a small business uh, approach and mindset is we just don't stay consistent enough to see the results in the end. So as you know, our some strategy is, is looking at these five areas of success, sales, operation, mindset, marketing, and education. And my favorite topic today and is going to be on mindset. So my guest here, um, Maria Fontana, is going to be sharing with us some super duper mindset opportunities here. So, all right, now, I'm going to allow Maria to introduce herself really quick. I've got a couple little pieces that I want to share with you here before we um, get started, but I'm going to let Maria introduce herself. Now, here's what I can tell you is that we're, we're almost the same person. <laughs> we're salon owner, entrepreneur, author, educator, business mentor, 25 years experience um, in high-end business and startups. Um, she's all about making sure that she's helping to cr create growth and scale businesses and creating extraordinary success for herself. And I'm, I see it. I see what she's up to and I see the success that she's having, but she's been commonly referred to as the queen of startups. So um, she's going to share with us a little bit about their, uh, about these results here, but our topic and title today is the conscious captain. And this conscious captain is all about making sure you're in the right mindset. So I'm going to pull off screen here. I'm going to let Maria tell you a little bit more about herself 
and then I'll come back here with, um, with a couple slides to be able to introduce a little bit more on the mindset that I want you guys to be in before uh, Maria dives in too deep. So hello, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. For Hi, coming. Bonnie. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor. I'm super excited to be here. The energies are really vibrant and with us today. And yes. so I am just honored to speak to your guests and your audience. Awesome. Awesome. So Maria, you like me have been in the industry a really long time. You've, you've, <laughs> you play a lot of different roles. Mm -hmm. Um, you're still a salon owner, so you're, you're yes. so relevant to, um, you know, everything that's happening and, and you have an awareness, um, of what's happening here. So just give us a little insight about, you know, your history here. And then I'm going to step over here and just pull up the right slides here. Cause I noticed that I pulled up the wrong slides a minute ago. Sure. So my name is Maria Fontana. I'm often referred to as your favorite business consultant and growth strategist. And I am known by my friends and colleagues as the queen of startups. So basically, guys, I started my first salon at 19 years old. I've been in business 34 years. Do the math. <laughs> it's a long time. I've started, grown and flipped over 10 salons and five different other brick and mortar businesses, beauty supplies, private label, a number of different entrepreneurial adventures, even a cab company at one time. And that was, that was a real adventure. So um, in my journey of being an entrepreneur, a colorist educator, I wrote a few books. I started to see a gap in the industry where people would say to me, hey, Maria, how did you do that? Hey, Maria, how did you do that? Hey, Maria, how did you start this? So I started to just, I decided to create my own consultancy practice, which now they call coaching. But when I started, I labeled myself a consultant, helping other people build, scale, grow, and add other streams of income to their businesses. In this journey, I did, you know, tons of personal development work because my life crashed. I got divorced, hit a wall, had a nervous breakdown, blah, blah, blah. Life <laughs> happened, but it was the best thing ever because all of these, I know you're laughing, but it's true because so many people can relate. All of these hitting rock bottom made me work on myself, made me do mm -hmm. real hardcore personal development work. And I found another passion, you know, by doing all this healing work that really helped me accelerate, reinvent myself and bring myself to this place. So those are all the things I share is business strategy, mindset, energy, and healing all together to get you to where you need to be as a CEO. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I love that, you know, because there is like this controversy of, yeah. Um, coaching and consulting, but you know, the, the, the truth is they are, they're separate entities mm -hmm. and yet they can be the same. You know, yes. most of my clients, because I'm working with them very closely in marketing and branding, I'm consulting, yeah. um, for the most part. But the truth is, is that, you know, there are parts of it that are considered coaching. So it does go hand in hand, but I oh. love that you've created um, this opportunity to be able to say, I've done it and now I need to help other people do it. Right. Yeah. And I think what's real important, Bonnie, is that so many consumers are not educated as to what the difference is between hiring a mentor who has walked the walk, talks the talk like yourself, like me. They need to do their research. Be mindful of the Insta coaching world because everyone suddenly is a coach and a consultant. But quite frankly, if you haven't done it and I haven't seen you actually do that, you cannot just learn this from a book and then copy and paste it, copy and paste it. So consumer knowledge is important. Do your homework, guys. Make sure you do research. Google us. See what's been going on. Look at, mm -hmm. look at the facts before you invest in someone. I mean, I can't say this enough. I know I'm getting off topic, but I just had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're never getting off topic. It's all good. It's all good because this is our topic. So we talked about it from the standpoint that we're going to talk about the conscious ca captain, but the conscious captain, what I'm saying is that awareness is going to be that survival tool that you need right now. So, so everyone knows just before we started, you know, Marie and I both jumped on, on the zoom here. And it was like, we both had this look of like, oh my gosh, like there was a moment for us to just like, as you know, comrades, as, as this, you know, the same opportunity here to be able to say, I am, 
I'm, I'm so frustrated. It's already March and I just feel like I can't get ahead of things or I just am not making the progress that I want to. So you're not alone in any of this. And it's part of our landscape right now. And there is some truth to allowing yourself a little bit of freedom and a little bit of, okay, this is where we're at now. Now, now I have to kind of like get, gain that muscle to go to the next place here. Yeah. And, and I that talk brings me to, I have to say, number one, the number one thing that I tell everyone when it comes to shifting your mindset, Bonnie, is stop and have a little grace for yourself. Mm -hmm. Just stop and give yourself grace. Yeah. I mean, and that's why this whole SOS approach that I do here with this, with my coaching, with my training, with this podcast, you know, it's like I've got SOS and a million different acronyms, you know, but, but there is this point where the traditional, uh, you know, acronym of SOS is save our souls. Mm -hmm. And that is a mindset conversation right there because some of us, many of us are struggling right now to think can I rebuild? Can I do this? Can I make this work? And I know we've all been on the fence of thinking, is it, is it time for me to just stop? <laughs> is yeah. it too early for me to retire? <laughs> so I yeah. want to say that, you know, awareness is definitely 2020. And yes, I'm using that as a as a, as a little analogy there, as a little flip, because we woke up, we woke up in 2020. And although we thought it was going to be a short-term issue, it ended up being a very long-term um, opportunity for us to be able to look and see what do we need to know and what don't we need to know. And this is what I love about Maria right now is because when she came back to me and said, she wants to talk about the truth behind your results. I thought, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and mindset is as much being aware and conscious as it is being curious. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when, when you can get the tr behind the truth of your results, it's taking on a level of curiosity, which is a very healthy and therapeutic approach to saying, can I do this? Can mm -hmm. I do it alone? Mm -hmm. Do I need help to do it? Right. And who are the people that might be able to help me? So I'm going to let you like take it away and give us some of these inside secrets as to how you reference mindset and what we can all do in order to get back on track. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm very honest and open in sharing what mindset means to me. Now there's so many different takes on mindset. I learned about mindset by hitting a brick wall many years ago. I'd never heard that word before. I had no idea what it meant. And the first time my therapist at the time mentioned mindset, I thought, what is this lady on? What does that mean? But I will tell you, mindset simply means the thoughts that we think about and how we talk to ourselves daily that create our outcomes. Now, the first step, as I said before, I have certain rituals and things that I share all the time, but they're simple things. The first thing you have to do is give yourself grace, which means stop for a second and be freaking nice to yourself. We're in a society, especially women, and this doesn't exclude the men, but women, so we beat ourselves up for not doing enough, being enough, you know, being online enough, whatever it looks like. And with all the stimulation, especially online now, and the pressures as a business owner to show up everywhere, we're torturing ourselves. So in my opinion, the mindset ritual number one is stop, give yourself grace, step back from the phone, step back from the computer, reconnect your relationships. Like how refreshing is a conversation with a like-minded person that you guys can just be real with each other. So that's really number one. Mindset is a word that simply means thinking about what is going to create your outcome. So if you're constantly like, I don't know if I could do this. What am I going to do? I don't have enough money. I'm broke. Right there, you're talking to yourself in a place of creating that outcome for yourself. If you simply just backtrack and be like, you know what? I'm going to figure out new ways to create more income. Wow, I'm feeling a little tired today, but I think I need some rest. Oh, you know, shifting how you talk to yourself is going to shift your outcomes. And it takes 21 to 90 days to change a habit, guys. But I can assure you, if you start instilling these, you're going to shift. So the first one is be nice to yourself. Give yourself some grace. Stop 
and step away from whatever is making you feel overwhelmed. Like stop holding your breath. That's another thing. People like, I have anxiety. I have anxiety. We get anxiety because we hold our breath. Do you guys know that? <sighs> Just breathe and come back to your soul. Number two is thank you. Now I know everyone knows about gratitude. It's over, it's you know used in everyday language, but I can't tell you enough. Get an old school notebook, get a journal, get a piece of paper. I don't care if it's like scrap paper. Once a day, twice a day, if you can do it, just write five things, five thank yous. It could be thank you for my eyes, thank you for my eyebrows, thank you for my hair, thank you for the running water, thank you for the electricity. There you go, I just did four or five in a second. And, and if you do that once or twice a day, it does shift your perspective. The goal is do it for 21 days, okay? These are my rituals for shifting your mindset. And I can tell you they do work. Another important factor is that we all forget. We have Google calendars, we have Outlook calendars, we have paper calendars, we've got all this scheduling stuff. I challenge every single one of you to put yourself in that calendar for one hour a week. If you can do two, it's even better, but one. And that's non-negotiable. That means go get an ice cream cone and sit at the park. Go get your favorite coffee and go take a stroll. Go to your favorite makeup shop or boutique and just do whatever. Go sit in a coffee shop and talk to your friend. It's not go shopping for your family, go do chores. Those don't count. It's gotta be something you love to do for yourself. Take 10 minutes, lock it. Like, I know a lot of busy moms don't have time. Like, go lock yourself in the bathroom for 10 minutes, put on some meditation music, and just tune everybody out. You have to put yourself in the calendar. These things changed my life. Because you know what happens? When you start taking care of your soul, your soul takes care of you. Guys, we're all souls. And we could be, you could be a multimillionaire. You know how many people I've met that are multimillionaire, like business owners, and they're miserable because they're not nourishing their soul. So they can't really grow and evolve or even enjoy their money. So it's really stopping, nurturing yourself and giving yourself what you need, but making it a non-negotiable task. The way you do your client's hair, the way you book yourself to go to the dentist, you got to book an appointment with your soul. You know, it, it's so powerful. And, and my fifth thing that I really, really share with all my clients and all my friends is connect to your intuition, guys. We all have it. It's a birthright. It lives right here in our, in our heart center. It's something we all have. It's not a woo-woo thing. We all have intuition. That is your GPS. And if you start to just honor it, listen to it, feel it, breathe into it. I can assure you, you'll make better business decisions. How many times have you been put like with your back against the wall? Someone's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. Or, you know, you, you had a, a business associate or a client or a mentor and you're like, oh, you could just feel the red flags, but you're pushing it away. You're ignoring it. And then you made the wrong choice because you ignored your gut and went with someone, what someone else thought you should be doing. And that's in, that's in your investing, that's in buying your products, that's in booking in your clients. I mean, you, these are core mindset rituals that if implemented, like I said, do it for 21 days, they will change your life. Yeah, that is so powerful. I love, I love all of them, but I especially love the intuition one because when we're stressed, when we're overwhelmed, when we have that lack of certainty in our future, mm -hmm. at this point, like many of us do, our intuition is actually peaking, but we're stifling it. Yes. And Fear. so it's really that moment to just like stop and listen to what's being said from the inside because your intuition is truly guiding you. We've relied as human beings, I think, too much on Google and strategy and you know these are things that we do for a living but but the truth is like i'm in a space right now that i just i'm really i feel 
less is more right now. I'm shutting down a certain pieces and parts of the activities that I'm doing because I need to regenerate myself. And that's listening to my intuition. So I, I, I definitely am a big firm believer on that. And I think we got lots of intuition going on here for those of you. I know we're on an audio podcast right now, but you guys, all these podcasts are going to be up on video on my YouTube channel here soon. But there is some serious energy going on over here with Maria. Yes. And lots, lots and lots of uh, white dots floating around. And, and I call, I have goosebumps. I call them angel lights. So I'm very definitely cool. Yeah, I, I really believe that there is so much energy around this. Guys, we're all energy. Like if you believe it or not, we're, 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 we're vibrational. So I have had the most skeptical clients in my chair as cl hair clients and as consulting clients that they're like, well, tell me more. Like, I want to understand more because they want to feel better. Mm -hmm. Like all of us want to feel better. So what better way to honor yourself than to step into your own power and give yourself permission to be the real you. And these are keys, guys. They're huge keys to survival in the salon industry, to survival in any service provider business. You really have to give yourself that permission and follow your gut. If something no longer feels good, then honor that and figure out how to tweak it. Yeah. The minute you own that power, you will see there's so many opportunities to reinvent yourself, create a new line of business, add a new line of business, reevaluate how you're treating your clients, how you're consulting with your clients. Mindset envelops the whole business world. I want you to take a look at the most successful people in the world and guess what they all do? They, they read, spend, they meditate. They spend a lot of time on their personal development. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, as a successful 34 year entrepreneur of multiple practices and seeing my clients get these results, personal development is a marriage with your business growth. Because if you're stuffing your stuff, not clearing out old wounds, not working on that dysfunctional family crap that's been looming on you like a backpack full of bricks your whole damn life, because we all have it. We all have it. We have to work on ourselves and gently and be nice to yourself while you're doing it. And you can't do it overnight, but you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Bonnie, this is the biggest roadblock I see when people come to work with me. We work on so much clearing and personal development, even mm -hmm. before we get to doing their business strategy. Mm -hmm. it is and it's so liberating, you know, it and really then it becomes, is. yeah. It be, and then it becomes an ongoing part of the conversation. Oh, it's yeah. like, you know, like one of the questions that I ask my clients when we first start our conversation, you know, once the little bit of the small talk is, is passed, I say, all right, share with me three successes you have. And you know, most people will struggle with three successes that they've had over the last week or a couple of weeks. And what they'll do is they'll inevitably want to go towards, well, I, you know, lost another stylist or, you know, the water heater broke or, uh, you know, one of my sinks crashed off the wall. You know, they'll go right to the things that I said, no, 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 we'll, we'll get to that. What are three successes? Because if we can get into that mindset of I am accomplishing something, I am moving forward, I am making progress, it sets the tone to be able to create that development of more. Yes. Because, because shit's going to happen all day long, every day, oh, yeah. and yeah. we deal with it. We're adults. We yeah. deal with it. So this is, this is another thing that I share openly, and I'm going to share it here because we're talking about mindset. You have to have zero expectations that nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The truth is something's going to go wrong every single day. Now, the level of it, 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 it depends on the day, but this is our existence in life. So if you're prepared to know, you know what, something's going to go wrong, I'll just deal with it at the moment. And then you sit down daily to, this is another exercise I highly recommend. You can do it on your phone, put it on notes. I want you to just make a list daily, five things. It doesn't have to be a lot. And I know the people are like, oh, Marie, I can't do all these lists. Yes, you can. You can take 10 minutes out of the day and make your thank you list. And what I call your acknowledgement list. I want you to write down, when you start making a list acknowledging what you're good at, what you're, you know, all your gifts, 
the list becomes so long. I had done this and I'm like, wow, I know a lot of stuff. And it could be simply like, you know, you raise kids, you know how to buy baby food, you know how to change a diaper, you got divorced, you know how to file divorce papers. You know, you, you opened a business. I know how to start a salon. I know how to start private. Like the list goes on and on. And the more you acknowledge the little things that to you come so easy, mm -hmm. the more you'll step into a place of gratitude, power, and your mind, that's where your mindset starts to change. Cause now you're like, okay, wow. You, you subconsciously reprogram yourself. So, you know, the, like I said, I could go on for days and days and days <laughs> talking about this because I'm just so passionate about okay. it. I, I love this topic. So, you know, and I think one of the things that I'm seeing right now with um, my clients and just in our salon as well is we have to, we have to develop that muscle called compassion because if we're feeling this way, if, 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 even with our level of success, our level of experience, our level of, of you know, uh, the variety of things that we know and understand, yeah. we have to then trust that maybe people that are in a development stage or in a stage that they're still growing and evolving don't have all the skill sets that we can offer. And as leaders, you know, being this conscious captain that we need to be, compassion is going to be a great tool to use because we we are in a shitstorm still it still yeah. doesn't feel good yeah so we're 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 waiting through it yeah as patiently as we can but our team our people in our lives the people that you know are supporting us and, and are a part of our journey with us right now they need as much compassion as we can give as leaders because we yeah. if we're feeling this way I know they are too. Oh, it's so important. It is so important. You know, I always say to everyone, remember what it feels like to be the client. You know, if I go to the dentist and the secretary, the lady that opens the door for me already has like a weird energy to her, that just shifted my whole experience. Mm -hmm. If I walk into the salon and I'm bringing my negative crap with me, if I didn't do my morning rituals, I didn't clear out my stuff mm -hmm. before I went about my day, then those people in my space are going to feel that. And it's a disservice to everyone else and a disservice to yourself. Yeah. So really, again, it goes back to taking that little bit of time, having grace for yourself, having compassion, investing those 10, 15, 20 minutes, an hour a day for you is going to change your outcomes. I can guarantee this because I've lived it. I know Bonnie knows what I'm talking about. It's, it's factual. <laughs> but you have to do the work. You can't just say, okay, I write a self-help book and now I should, things should be happening. No, that is only a little itty bitty twig on the tree of personal development. It takes a lot to have that tree nice and, and you know, lush and full of leaves and be fully developed. Remember guys, it takes years to do this, but you got to start somewhere and be nice to yourself just the way you would have compassion for someone else. I mean, this, these are things I just yeah. cannot stress enough. Yes. Yes. Compassion for self, compassion for others mm -hmm. and, you know, a awareness that, that we're, we're going through this together yeah. um, and that, you know, our actions are, our GPS is, as Maria said, they're, they're guiding us, but the results are in your truth. That's right. right. Your if, you're, if you're in a shitty mood, you're going to get shitty results. Yeah. If you're in a compassionate mood, you're going to get compassionate results. Yeah. Um, and so we, we have to be able to keep thinking on that. Maria, thank you so much. You've been, oh, I, I just, uh, we could, we could talk forever. <laughs> and I want to do another episode on another branch. Uh, of this other honestly, day. <laughs> we, well, we're going to do it again for sure. But you have an opportunity for people to be able to, you know, connect with you and, yes. um, and, and find out a little bit more about what you're doing. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so I offer, you know, to anyone who's interested, anyone who just wants to get on a phone, I just do a 90 minute collaboration call. We just chit chat. There's no, 
you know, there's no catch, there's no obligation. I simply help you get clarity. We see if we connect, if I can have you walk away with either something that's gonna change your life personally or professionally, that is part of my life mission and part of my business. I do it with a whole heart. Um, and sometimes, you know, just that conversation to, can lead to amazing relationships. So they can reach me. You know, I'm sure everything will be down in descriptions. It's mariafontana.com. Super easy to connect with me. If you're not into long conversations, you can always just DM me on Instagram or on Facebook. I can always hop on a five minute phone call. That's cool too. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you for offering that. Yes, because I think it's I think it's okay for us. You know, one of the compassionate things that we can do and one of the mindset yeah. things that we can do is ask for help. Yeah. You know, to not be afraid to ask for help because there's some really great people um, that are here to support like Maria yeah. um, to, you know, kind of get you over that hump and, and get back to that mindset that we are capable of going and growing forward. Yes, we are capable of growing, going, and creating. Don't be afraid to grow. You can create new streams of income. You can do so much with your business. Mm -hmm. Don't become paralyzed in the fear. Face the fear. Tell, say, thank you for telling me. I don't want to hear you. And then just move forward. And, and sometimes just having a conversation. Like I can tell you, Bonnie and I can have a five-minute conversation, and it regenerizes both, <laughs> both of us. We just feel better. So. Yeah. Give yourself that gift of reaching out and connecting to someone. It's not about the money, guys. It's not about the business. It's about connections in the world moving forward. And if you don't have good connections and you're not being good to yourself, none of that stuff's going to matter. Trust me. Uh, it is the truth. All right. Thank you guys. <laughs> Hallelujah. For us here. Hallelujah. Yes, thanks for joining us here today with the SO. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, it was a this pleasure. Is a podcast. Yeah. And and um, listen, you guys, I air this podcast every week. I know Maria, you have a podcast as well. What's yours called? I do. Mine is Business Growth Made Easy, and it can be found on all your favorite podcast channels. And beautiful Bonnie was a guest on my podcast and so many other industry icons. Feel free to subscribe, join us there, and uh you know, just like I said, reach out, reach yeah. out and connect with us. We just want to be these, friends. <laughs> just these podcasts alone are a wealth of information. So remember, oh, we're yeah. about building brands that survive while helping you to thrive. So yes. until next time, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks again, Maria. Bye. Thank you.